Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to work with angles formed by two intersecting lines. When two lines intersect to form right angles, they're called perpendicular. Remember, right angles are angles of 90 degrees. If this angle is 90 degrees, then all four of the angles are 90 degrees. We can also denote the fact that an angle is 90 degrees by drawing a perfect little square. But when two lines meet, they don't always meet at 90 degree angles. This doesn't mean we don't have information about the size of the angles. For example, in this diagram, the pair of angles ABC and angle DBE, they're called vertical angles because they're directly across the same vertex from one another. Turns out that vertical angles always have equal measures. So even though we don't know exactly the measure of these two angles, we do know that they're the same measure. Can you identify another pair of angles on this diagram that are vertical angles and so have the same measure? That's right. If you said angle DBA and angle EBC, you were correct. Now let's suppose that in that same diagram, we were told that angle DBE is equal to 30 degrees. Using the fact that vertical angles have equal measures, combined with other knowledge we have about angles, let's find angles ABC, ABD, and CBE. Let's start with angle ABC. Angle ABC is directly ac across the same vertex from angle DBE. So these are vertical angles. And we know that vertical angles are equal, so they must both have measures of 30 degrees. But what about the other two angles? Well, keep in mind that we learned previously that a straight angle is 180 degrees. And angle ABC is part of that straight angle, and angle ABD is the other part. So together, they have to add up to 180 degrees. In other words, if you take 180 and subtract 30, the remaining 150 degrees has to be the measure of angle DBA. Well, if angle DBA is 150 degrees, then we can use vertical angles again to see that angle CBE is also 150 degrees. So we have all four of the angle measures just by knowing one of the angles formed by two intersecting lines. Another situation where vertical angles could be helpful is if you're given two intersecting lines and two of the angles are marked with expressions representing the values or relative values of the two angles. Using the fact that vertical angles are equal, we can set up an equation that has to be true. 3x plus 10 degrees has to be equal to 5x minus 10 degrees. And then we can solve this linear equation in order to find the value of x. First thing we need to do is to get any terms with a variable to one side and those without to the other. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides of this equation. And I'm going to add 10 to both sides. This is going to give me 20 equals 2x. Next I'm going to divide both sides by 2. This is going to give me x equals 10. So we found the value of x. Now sometimes in the homework that's what they'll be asking for. They'll just want you to find the value of x. But in this case they didn't. They asked us to find the measure of each marked angle. So we actually have to plug x into the expressions we were given. Plugging 10 in for x, we get 3 times 10 plus 10 equals 40 degrees. Now we know both of the angles are the same, so both angles must be 40 degrees. But you could confirm that by plugging 10 into 5x minus 10 as well, and it works out exactly the same. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.